Hey guys, IGGY checking into you. Uh, top of the morning to you, man. God bless everyone. Hope you're having a great day thus far. Um, I'm working on a project right now to bring you back last night's um, live stream. I'm going to edit it <clears throat> and I'm going to tweak it down to um, a much smaller film than what we've seen last night. But I'm also going to add additions to it as covering 911. Um, I'm going to add some things to it. But I'll put them more at the end. So everything we seen last night on Kobe, right? When he's sitting in the room, all that stuff we seen last night. I'm gonna, I'm redoing it right now, working on it. I just wanted to bring you this real quick because I just seen it. But um, also, um, I have to bring you last night's live stream because um, you know, I'm being attacked, guys. I'm being attacked from every type of way. You know, NBC Studios, um, you know, copyright strike, brought the film down, whatever. Cause in Netflix, I showed the little Netflix skit. But the thing is, is that it, you know, I I understand that algorithms pay attention to it. But when it happens fast like that, especially because the live stream got cut off and it came back on. If it was the algorithms, the live stream would have got completely cut off. But if you remember, my live stream came back on, and that's how that proves the point right there that this was people viewers flagging me. All right, so. Just to know that there's YouTubers out there um, with a character like that that would flag me just because they got differences with me, just because they don't like me, just because they hate on me, whatever it may be, jealous, envious, they would literally go to the point of flagging a video and getting it taken down that was exposing the truth about 9-11. And all those Americans that died, they would go to that length just to get at me they they don't they prove themselves that they hate America. These are YouTubers, guys, and the reason is is because they are the opposition. Okay, any fellow American, no matter what, no matter who I don't like on here and who I got differences with, I I don't go flagging videos anyway. But I would never do it to a video that was like a nine one one video exposing the facts, the truth. Like I said, I don't do it anyway. But if I was one of them people that went and gang flagged someone, I would never do it to a video like that. You know, it really shows their character. But, um, yeah, guys, I want to show you this real quick. Mm, U.S. Air Force plane crashes in Taliban. Held territory in Afghanistan. And you see this st uh, uh, the star with the circle around it. Say that a Boeing plane operated by state-owned airline Ariana crashed in the country's central Ghazni province. That's held, by the way, by the Taliban. Now, the airline's acting CEO is denying those reports, but in any event, uh, the shares of Boeing were actually down eight or nine earlier. They're down one and five eighths at this point, down about five points. Let's bring in, uh, bring back in. Phil LeBeau, uh, any more clarity on, on what happened here yet, Phil? No, no, there's not. Just more conflicting information, and we have reached out to Boeing. Boeing says it is trying to check to see if, in fact, a Boeing Ariana Airlines aircraft has crashed in Afghanistan, which is what the government says. What little we have is coming from NBC News, which has a producer uh, over in Kabul who has uh, basically given this update. And again, it's a little bit of what you said earlier, Joe. Approximately 100 bodies are at the scene. That is according to a government spokesperson. And again, the government spokesperson says the plane belonged to Ariana Airlines. But as you mentioned, Joe, the, the CEO of Ariana Airlines is denying that the plane crashed or that one of its planes crashed. The company has four Boeing 737 airplanes. Uh, so at this point, guys, we don't know, A, if it was an Ariana Airlines plane that crashed, and B, was it a Boeing aircraft that crashed? There are military aircraft over there. Could be a Boeing military aircraft. Could be another manufacturer's military aircraft as well. Though I would find it hard to believe that if somebody says there are 100 bodies at the scene, that it would be a military aircraft. So again, more questions than answers. Not surprising. Hopefully, we'll get a little more clarity within the next couple of hours. And, guys, what did I just show you guys last night, right? So, real quick, U.S. Air Force jet crashes Afghanistan reports say, I don't understand where they're, why they're saying jet 
and they're saying Boeing. Um, like this has to be different planes, but remember Boeing 777X just went up last night? Yes, say for the first flight. Hold on. I'm going to... Taliban is a developing story in, in Afghanistan. An American military plane has reportedly gone down, and the Taliban is claiming responsibility. Video appears to show the remains of the aircraft. CBS is still working to confirm the type and model of the plane, but it appears to be an American surveillance aircraft known as Wi-Fi in the sky. Now, the U.S. military isn't saying much right now. Other than it's invest, other that it, it is investigating the plane crash in Afghanistan. So we're working our sources, and we hope to get you an update as soon as possible. So guys, I don't know if the media is real, basically intentionally given misinformation on purpose to confuse people and lie already. Because you see here, this is a military plane with this star and circle around it. That's not a Boeing, and I don't think they consider them Boeing, B-O-E-I-N-G, like they just showed here. And as you can see, this is three hours ago from CNBC, and this is one hour ago from CBS, and this is one hour ago, and this is three minutes ago, and this is U.S. Air Force jet crashes in Afghanistan. But, you know, these liars down here, they're all liars, but the liars down there were saying a Boeing, which... Is like a residential uh, aircraft, as far as I know. Like I'm almost positive. I don't. Uh, Boeing is civilians. Okay, so guys, we got two planes that crashed. Okay, I thought they were giving us mis misinformation, but we just figured it out. So it looks like huh, a plane with our troops and a plane with civilians crashed. A plane that crashed in the Taliban-controlled region of central Afghanistan on Monday has been identified as a small U.S. Air Force jet, according to the news report. CBS News and Fox News reported that an Air Force bombarded E-11 jet crashed in Ghazni, Ghazni province after initial reports had indicated the down plane was a passenger jet operated by Afghan Ariana Airlines. AAA, that's AAA-111, and it's an E-11 this is weird. Some weird going on here. A U.S. military official wouldn't comment on the fate of the crew, but a spokesman of Ghazni provincial government said the bodies of planes, two pilots, have been found at the crash site about 110 miles southwest of Kabul in a region held by Taliban militants. It appeared the plane was flying between the southern city and Kandahar and Kabul when it went down. U.S. military officials confirmed they were investigating the crash and that early efforts were hampered by poor weather, which kept crews grounded. Initial reports indicated the down plane was a passenger of A3 people aboard operated by national carrier Ariana. The government-run airline, however, swiftly denied the crash involved in Ariana flight, saying all of its planes were safe and accounted for. Huh. State-run ISNA reported the crash was caused by technical problems with the landing gear, but Taliban's trying to take responsibility. Now, when you go to Boeing 777X, like I showed you last night, the Boeing 777X. 777 is order out of chaos. Now, 777X, the world's largest twin-engine jet, completes maiden flight. Just flew for the first time. And, like, uh, you see right here, 777, and then you see that 9, and then remember the X? That's, like, two sixes, basically. But, remember, me showing you their little logo, and their logo is, which we just seen, on the mainstream channel they just showed the logo and as you see it's a Saturn that's Saturn so it's a Saturnalia worship they're worshiping Saturnalia all day all day 777x or out of chaos and all of a sudden today a 777 Boeing has crashed so I just wanted to uh, bring you guys out real quick and also Look at this. I mean, look at this disgusting pig. Madonna cancels London concert amid injuries, but insists I will keep going until I cannot. And instantly, symbolism, 
mockery of Jesus. This is complete blasphemy right here. And then, of course, the one eye symbolism in multiple different ways and facets. Um, there she goes again with the X, which is six. X is six. And then she's wearing like a crown of thorns type thing there. Completely mocking Jesus Christ and everything he did for us when he came on this earth. Dying for our sins and whatnot. I have no idea who that is. But, okay guys, I just want to show you that real quick. I have to get back to editing this. And um, bring you guys the live stream from last night. Edit it up um, into a good video. Um, hey man. A lot of stuff going on, man. Watch who you trust on YouTube, man. Scumbags to do something like that. To to take down a, a, a video that was exposed in 911 and what happened. It, that's, you know, it really shows someone's character. You get what I mean? But it's no biggie. I'll get it put back up here shortly for you guys, man. Hey, IGGY, checking out. Much love to everyone, man. And I'll see you soon.